Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna be vlogging. We had a rough weekend, you guys. Knox came home with the stomach bug on Thursday, so he was home with me all day Thursday. I got a call at like 10. I was in the middle of doing my taxes. Finished those up really quick. Ran and got him. 10 o'clock on Thursday. He was throwing up all day, all the way until like nine o'clock that night. So it was almost 10 to 10 that he was sick. And then Friday, he stayed home with me, so wasn't a whole lot of work that I got done on Friday and then it was drill weekend so Kyle was gone all day Friday Saturday and Sunday and Friday and Saturday night as well so then Saturday we got up we went to basketball practice for Knox because it had been like 48 hours or whatever since he had been sick so I thought we were in the clear zone to go so we went to basketball and when we got home I was just feeling really really tired like more tired than normal so I was like I'm gonna lay down and take a nap I didn't get much of a nap in because the kids were just like running around or whatever, but I did get some rest. And then when I got up, I just wasn't feeling any better, which was a bit alarming. Um, I forced myself to eat some lunch at like 11 and it was just slow, slow downhill from there. I just wasn't feeling my best. I was nauseous and tired. Come four o'clock, you guys, from like five o'clock to midnight, I think I threw up. It was like 10 times and it wasn't just throw up okay it was horrifying i honestly i was thankful that kyle was not home one just to lighten his exposure to it but two because it is just a very humbling experience to be that sick and there's just nothing that anyone can do to help you anyway it was just an absolute nightmare trying to make the kids dinner while like running to the toilet to throw up it was i'm like what is happening i was able to get them like tubbed in their pajamas and i made them eggs for dinner that's it just scrambled eggs just told Knox, i was like honey just put a show on i'm throwing up i I gotta be in my room. So Knox ended up putting himself and Elodie to bed that night. Ellie did come down and she's like, I just want you to snuggle me. It was so sad. Her lip was quivering and it was just like she had her like sad, like whimpery cry. And I'm like, I know baby. So I crawled, you guys. I crawled upstairs, crawled across the hallway to like tuck her into her bed. It was a weekend. So yesterday I was down for the count. I only got out of bed a couple of times. The kids were home with me all day. We were waiting for Kyle to get home from drill. So we just made it work. We just made it work and we worked as a team to like survive. We were in full blown survival mode. With that said, I have not washed our bedding. Kyle slept in the guest room last night because I was like, you don't want to be anywhere near our bed. Trust me on this. I need to wash our bedding today. So I'm gonna strip our bed, but I thought it'd be the perfect time to talk about my mattress. And I wanna thank Helix for sponsoring today's video. When I started working with them last May. I believe my first sponsorship with them was in May because that's when we moved in. That's when I unpackaged and unraveled the mattress and set it all up. And we have had this mattress in our bedroom since we moved in. We absolutely love it. I wanna share all of the reasons and all of the things that I love about our mattress, which mattress we have. I also have a discount link for for you guys to get you 20% off plus two free pillows and they're not just like your average like oh here's two free pillows no no it's actually a huge bonus these pillows are incredible I'll show you guys like a cutaway clip and everything but I'm going to strip the bed and I will talk about all of the things that I love about our mattress because it quite literally saved my life this weekend Helix provides premium mattresses customized for your needs. They actually have a sleep quiz to match you up with your perfect mattress based on your body type and your sleep preferences. We were matched up with the Midnight Lux and it is a dream to sleep on. We kind of like the combination of a firm mattress with support, but something that also is very plush, feels like a cloud. And this is the perfect mattress. I just feel like it really is exactly that. It offers that support that we need and desire for our backs, but it also is just so comfortable when you crawl into it, you kind of never want to get out of bed. I love the plush layer on top. It just really forms to your body and gives you kind of like a hug when you're laying in it. And I just find it provides the maximum comfort. Like I said, we've had this mattress since we moved in and it does take a little while to get used to any new mattress that you're trying. So there was a little bit of a transitional period because because we were sleeping on a firm foam mattress before this but once we got used to it I just find I don't 
really think that any other bed is as comfortable as ours. I think it's great that they offer the sleep quiz because everybody's different. So you're able to go through and even go through with your partner so that you guys can get a mattress that's really a great fit for the two of you guys. And it's really convenient because the mattress is then shipped right to your door. It arrives rolled up and in a box. So really it's super easy setup and you have a hundred day sleep trial as well, just to ensure that the mattress is going to be perfect for you. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So again, if you guys are interested or you're in the market for a new mattress, I could not recommend the Helix mattresses enough. I've had multiple friends come over, my mom come over, anybody who comes over and sits on our bed, they end up like sprawled out laying down and like, what? is this like what is happening this mattress is incredible so i will have my link here on the screen and down below to get you guys 20 percent off your helix mattress along with the two free pillows as a bonus thank you again to helix for sponsoring this portion of today's video i am gonna get that stuff in the wash i just threw it in the hallway and then i think i'm gonna go make lunch because i am actually finally getting my appetite back yesterday i had an entire like yeti of chicken broth and I sipped on that for like three or four hours. It was so good. And then I had five or six little um, snap pea crisps, like those little dehydrated snap peas or whatever. I had, I think, six of those. That is all I ate all day. I did have a banana this morning. I tried to eat a pancake and I could literally only eat like half of it. I feel like I've lost five pounds, which is kind of nice to be able to like, I feel like detox. My skin is skinning. I feel completely detoxed and like I can start fresh on like my healthy eating um, and really just kind of try to stay away from things that I don't generally want to eat. So I want to make some homemade noodle soup because I feel like that will be easy on my belly. I want to get a couple veggies in there. I think I was hoping I had celery, but I don't think I do. I know I have carrots. I might have a little bit of broccoli. I don't know. I just want like a brothy noodle soup, simple, clean meal let's go make that by the way i obviously have extensions on unless you're new here this is not my hair my hair is quite short it's like not even hardly collarbone length um but i'm gonna include some clips of me putting these hair extensions in because i love these hair extensions i shared them a couple vlogs back they're the goo goo hair extensions and the only issue with my last ones were the fact that Actually, there was no issue with the hair extensions. The issue was that I had colored my hair literally right after I had ordered those and it wasn't the plan, it was just bad timing. So when I got them in, I was like, shoot, I just colored my hair so they didn't match my hair anymore. So I reached out to the brand and they were willing to send me another pair, which I was so excited about. And I will put the name and the color and everything, all the information on the one, exact ones that I got um, down below. These could not match my hair any better in my opinion. I think it is a perfect, match to my natural hair. So I'm really, really happy with them. The quality of them is absolutely incredible. I filmed a reel on this hairstyle. And like I said, I'll insert some clips of me like putting the hair extensions in and everything. I am not a hair extension girly like normally. I've never been one to really wear hair extensions, but having short hair and having short hair for so long, it does kind of give me the itch to have long hair once in a while. So I love that this is just like an easy way to kind of play around with different styles these are so affordable the quality is incredible compared to i think i've tried three other brands i like these ones the best by far i just love the quality i love the way that they feel the clips are really comfortable and the way they lay on my head i feel like is really subtle and easy to hide i just really really love them they come in multiple lengths and they come in a couple different thicknesses as well so yeah really happy with these and i will link them down below for you guys and i believe and if I have a coupon code or anything, I'll leave that down below as well. Let's make some soup. So this is like a version of my homemade ramen noodle that I make all the time. This is gonna be like the clean, simple, simple version of it. I would normally replace the broccoli for celery. I like carrots and celery. That would just be like the most basic way that I like normally would make it, but I've got some organic chicken broth. I'm gonna use half the container. I'm going to use one of these ocean Ocean's Halo organic ramen noodles. So I just use one of these. These noodles are so good. I'm gonna cut up a handful of carrots, cut them up really tiny and boil them in the broth until they're like halfway cooked. Um, and then 
I have some frozen broccoli, which I'll also just kind of like crush up and throw in probably when I throw the noodles in. I might honestly put an egg on top as well just for like some protein. Okay, I decided to make a double batch so that I can have some tomorrow. So I'm just gonna use the whole container of broth and I'll use two ramen noodle packets. I'm gonna cut up my carrots. Even though I'm feeling better, I'm, <laughs> my brain is not all the way there. Get a knife to cut up my carrots. Okay, I let the carrots cook for, I don't know, a couple of minutes. And then I threw in the noodles and I fried an egg over here. And then I put the broccoli in a plastic bag because I just wanted to crush it up. So I like used this to like crush it up versus cutting it because it was frozen. I did blow the baggie open, but I'm going to throw this in with the noodles and the carrots now. This is how it looks. I cannot wait to dig into this. It smells so good. I would normally put chili oil on this or red pepper flakes at least because I like mine spicy, but going for the simple, I do not want to upset my stomach. So I'm just going to have it like this, but it looks so good. Okay, that soup was delicious and I feel like it's just what I needed. I do feel tired and a little bit nauseous, but I think that's only because it's the first time my stomach's been full in like two and a half days. So I do want to do this try on with you guys. Two things that I want to mention are actually in the wash because they were what I happened to be wearing when I got sick. So they are the basic black Kalia leggings and my new favorite sweatshirt, which is in this incredible blue color. I'm going to do a pop away clip over here of me trying it on because I did share it on Saturday. I shared like my outfit of the day on my Instagram story on Saturday and just raved about the Kalia leggings. These leggings are my new favorite everyday pair of leggings. I'm obsessed with them. The only regret I have is I think I probably should have gone with the extra small. The small is just like I keep wanting to kind of pull them up a little bit and I think in the extra small I wouldn't have that issue but they are not see-through. They're buttery soft and if anything sticks to them it's really easy to just kind of like brush it off. It's got like just enough like of a slippery material to it um, that they stay looking really nice and clean but at the same time are that like buttery soft material that you want to be wearing on a daily basis. I don't always want to be in my Spanx leggings which is what I'm wearing today. I do love my Spanx but they just they're very like slippery feeling and sometimes I just want more of like a soft cozy fabric and that's what these are mixed with like an athletic kind of elastic -y feeling fabric. I'm not making any sense, but to me, they're just 12 out of 10, the perfect leggings. They don't have that weird band at the top either. Like that can kind of make you look like you have a fupa. It's just like a really nice, thick, compressive band at the top that does not have like another secondary band on the inside. They also have a really great bum seam. Like the seam comes up nice and high, so it's flattering on your bum and they're just good basic seven eighths length leggings so i'm ordering more of those i think i am going to get an extra small it'll be nice to have maybe the small when it's like that time of the month and then the extra small for the rest of the month the other piece that i wanted to mention is this blue sweatshirt it's a nike sweatshirt this comes in like i don't even know 10 colors i want them so badly to come out with like a bright pink in this sweatshirt because i think it would be so cute but they have like i said a bunch of different colors to choose from i love this blue color i've gotten compliments in a million dms every single time i wear this sweatshirt it's definitely a new fave in my closet the two other items that i picked up it's actually the same thing just in two colors this cute little like high neck compressive tank. This is by Nike. I got mine in a size extra small. I love this color. Could not love this color more. I think it's so beautiful and fun. This does not have a built-in bra, so you can kind of have fun with the colors that you mix it with if you wanted to do like a fun lime green sports bra or something underneath. I have a sweater, a sweater. A fuzz from my sweater on my face is driving me anyway love this also got it in the brown but yeah you could play around with different colors I feel like the brown would be so cute with like a hot pink sports bra underneath um, to actually wear to the gym but if I was gonna wear this more as like athleisure wear I'd go for a cleaner look and just try to get like a racer back bra that does not show the thing I really liked about these is that it kind of like scoops down a little bit in the front just very subtly and I felt like that was gonna be really flattering but these are definitely something that I would wear to the gym, but also just like on the weekends running around with the kids. So love the two colors that I got, but they did have a bunch of other colors as well. Now, do I even need to say like the fabrics and everything feel really nice because all of these brands are good quality, like main brands. So um, 
I'm gonna try not to repeat myself, but you can go ahead and assume that I love the fabrics of everything that I'm sharing. Next, I picked out this set, and this was, this is Kalia, correct? Yes, this is by the Kalia brand, which is Carrie Underwood's brand, in case you didn't know. And I was joking with one of you guys on Instagram, um, one of you was like, that's Carrie Underwood's line, in case you didn't know, and I love Carrie Underwood. I was like, if only when you purchased a pair of Kalia leggings, you got Carrie Underwood's legs as well. That would be worth every cent and more. But I got these in a size small. So these are the high rise seven eighths leggings. So these are the same as the black ones I got, but these have a seam detail going down the front and down the back, which is just kind of cute. These are ones that I would just wear probably to the gym. And actually I would wear these athleisurely as well. I just prefer for like everyday leggings for, I'm showing you the side pocket here. Um, for there to be like no extra details or seams or anything like that. Loved the color of these. I thought this color was really, really beautiful. It's like a warm stone color. And then I got this bra to go with it as like a little matching set. Hard to show you, but I'll do a little try on the cutaway clip. I loved the back of this sports bra and I love the seam in the front. Like it kind of like scoops down. I don't know. I just thought this was beautiful and such a cute little set. Next, I grabbed this basic black top. Hopefully you guys can see it, but it's a really cute kind of lower scoop. And it does have a built-in bra, so it's like a full sports top. You don't need anything additionally underneath. It's got the pads, it's got the elastic like full sports bra on the inside. It does have some seam detailing here in the sides. This top was actually on the same display as these leggings with that extra like seam detail. So I feel like this would look really good as a set. They did have these in the same color as the leggings so you could get them as a set. But yeah, I just thought this was a really great basic black top to have. And then another basic black top from the Kalia line that I grabbed is this ribbed black tank bra, sports crop. I don't even know what these are called, but again, it's got the full built-in bra on the inside with the pads. And this is just something that I really like to have on hand to wear like underneath my sweatshirt. And I have a white one like this that I wear all the time. So I knew that I wanted to pick up a black one and I may even end up getting more colors, but yeah, absolutely love it. Also would wear this to the gym, athleisurely, just all the things, but I really, really love wearing these underneath of things like sometimes I'll even wear it under something like this because it's just comfortable and then as part of the free people movement that's what it was I was like is it free people move I couldn't remember exactly what it was called but free people movement I grabbed this kind of washed long sleeve scoop tunic I love this you guys look at the back it's so beautiful it's so true to free people and I really just love the finish of the fabric it's like this beautiful really fine ribbed fabric and then it changes on the sleeve. It's got the little thumb hole. Came in a couple different colors as well. The quality of course feels amazing, but I just thought this would be so cute with leggings and sneakers. It's easy, easy to throw on. Something that you can layer up with, throw on and go, and something that's really gonna last the test of time in your closet. I love free people pieces because they're almost like better the more worn and washed they get, the better. Really great piece, something I thought you guys would really love and I was excited to share. So also the bottom has like an unfinished hem. So once you wear and wash this, it's gonna get a little distressed at the bottom and I think it will look, like I said, even better in time. Next up, I grabbed these two long sleeve mock neck Nike shirts crops crop tops uh i loved the fabric of these they're super lightweight and stretchy i feel like this is such a great piece transitioning into the spring i just feel like these would be really cute under vest with leggings and sneakers and i loved the colors this blue color got me right away and then i was like do i need the green too i feel like i need the green they were on sale yeah absolutely loved these again they kind of have that little bit of a scoop in the front which i just find is so flattering and i'm telling you guys these fabrics are incredible like it's just so stretchy and thin in a good way um and i liked that these had the mock neck i just i don't know i don't have anything like this in my closet and i love these next up i grabbed this basic nike zip up now i got this in a size small so these are very very oversized I honestly probably could have done the extra small, but I love this. I love the color of it. I love the little Nike logo. It's just so simple, kind of clean girl vibes. I have a sweatshirt, like a zip sweatshirt in this exact color, but it's, I don't even know what brand it is. Like it's not 
the best quality and fit so i think i'm going to just swap it out for this one because i absolutely love this and i know that nike always lasts a really long time in my closet and it's a really nice fleecy material on the inside i can just see myself throwing this on like all spring long i get a lot of wear out of my zip ups and i'm excited to work this one into my closet this is almost the same color it's actually a little bit more like bright and kind of like warm it's i don't know got a little bit more of like a golden undertone to it a little tiny hint of yellow but it's a really really cute kind of cropped adidas sweatshirt and i feel like again this is just something that i would wear a lot i love a good cropped sweatshirt i love anything with like a little emblem just small and in, in the front um <laughs> so yeah i thought this was really cute this is even something i'd wear with jeans and sneakers or again with leggings i liked the color i liked the feel it's nice fleecy on the inside and I liked, you know, that it was a little bit cropped, something easy to kind of bra tuck, front tuck, or anything like that. And then last but certainly not least, I picked up this jacket. This is, again, by the Free People Movement line. I got this in a size extra small. I loved this color combo, you guys. Like, it is so beautiful and flattering and so perfect for spring. I just absolutely love it. The, the Sherpa on this is incredibly soft, like extra, extra soft, you know. So it's got the little front pockets as well. I love all the panel detailing, the detail on the hood. And even on the inside of the hood, it's got this like beautiful blush, like super soft jersey material. It is that plush material on the inside, like this Sherpa material. So it's really, really soft if you're just wearing even like a sports bra underneath. I absolutely love her i have a bag and two pairs of shoes that i want to share with you guys so i did want to share this little viral free people quilted bag i love her so much like do i need a new gym bag no no i don't but i have had my gym bag for a year so i got my 30 whatever dollars out of it I don't know. I love it. And I think this is very deceiving. I like that it looks just like a medium sized bag, but I really feel like you could fit a mass amount of things in here. Like I think I could fit half of my whole self in this bag. It's actually quite large. I love the color of it. It's like a really like pretty taupey cream color. It's got the brown little zipper strings. Um, it does zip at the top and again this is a bit of a pricier item i mean everything at dick's kind of is but you get the quality so this was 68 dollars. i'm hoping that maybe it's on sale for you guys online i don't know but even at 68 dollars again like i would spend that at abercrombie without even thinking about it because i love and trust the brand so i think once i get more on board with free people i probably will become addicted so I can see why other people are addicted for sure, but I absolutely love this. I feel like it would be the perfect, perfect gym bag. I did buy some new gym sneakers. They are out in the car. They're adorable though. They're really, really cute. I saw my friend Ella at the gym the other day and it was like the third thing she said to me. And she's like, oh my gosh, I love your new sneakers. They're so, so cute. They're just basic white Nikes. And I got a size eight. I am usually like a seven and a half eight, but the eight fit perfectly so i went with that and they're a cross trainer so they're really great for really all the things which is exactly what i was looking for and i absolutely love them i think they're so comfortable and then lastly you guys i love them so much they are worth the hype i can see why everybody is buying these okay i almost went with the platforms but i already have my converse platform so i'm like no i think i want to go with the i I just can't so i just ended up going with the like regular bottom not the platform bottom for like a mom sneaker especially like this is i don't know this just screams cool mom to me <laughs> so these with like a black legging oversized sweatshirt to run to basketball practice or running any errands and uh, i just think these are so cute i've been keeping them in the box for this haul it's been i don't know at least a week and a half almost two weeks and i am so ready to wear these i think i'm going to order kyle the matching ones and then i may I may even order the ones for the kids, which I will link down below as well because they do have men's and they do have kids. They have babies too. So that is absolutely it for that portion of today's video. Dicks, please sponsor me. <laughs> I have never seen Dicks do a sponsorship. I don't know, maybe I'm just like, that's not in my algorithm, 
but um, I would love for Dix to sponsor me because I'm here for it. I'm all about the athleisure and the comfy, sporty vibe. I'm here for it, so hit me up. I need to clean our floors. That's something that I really wanted to do today. I'm honestly really starting to feel exhausted. I think I maybe was not ready for the day that I had planned for myself. I'm going to keep plowing forward, but I do want to get my nails done and I think that's going to feel really good. So if I can just get a few more things checked off my list, then we can go get my nails done and I can just like sit and relax for a few minutes and I think that will be really good. I'm going on over three weeks with these nails and they're so grown out. I'm not even going to give you guys a close up. You guys, speaking of hot pink, I just got this in the mail from Amazon. I am shook. I don't know how much this was. I'm obsessed though. Look how cute. It's got like a little mock neck situation with this little like slit in the side. Long sleeve, oversized like sweatshirt tunic. The inside is so good. I feel like I can't even form sentences. I'm like so excited about this piece. I kind of want to change into it. But yeah, it's super soft. Not like a thick fuzzy fleece, but like a nice fleece material and like lightweight like this is thinner than I don't know your average sweatshirt but in the perfect way for spring but I just thought it was funny that I was saying I wish they made that Nike sweatshirt in like this exact color because this is the color I had in mind but this is beautiful I will link it for you guys I'm unpackaging some stuff now for an Instagram like Amazon try on so if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram follow me over there I have almost 90,000 followers over there now, which I actually cannot believe because in June of last year I had 20 and I don't know what happened So thankful for that and so thankful that that platform is growing because I'm able to post a lot more stuff over there and just feel a lot more productive and um, Yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun like making reels and things. So If you do follow me over there, you'll see this again. I'm obsessed with this All right, you guys this right here is my baby so I got this from Amazon and it is a vacuum and a mop. So I believe like on the way forward is when it's vacuuming, on the way back is when it mops. This cuts down my floor cleaning time more than in half. I love this thing. I have not mopped, like actually manually mopped our house since we moved in um, because I'm able to upkeep with this. We also, we do have a cleaner come every two weeks and just help maintain like the deeper clean stuff that I just don't get to. Um, cause this is a pretty big house, um, and a lot of upkeep and a lot of white still think that I could do everything I need to do with this little mop back. Because like I said, if you're doing it at least once a week, even twice a week, three times a week, your floors are going to be spotless all the time. So it's really easy to use. It does hold a pretty good charge. I do sometimes, depending on how dirty the floors are, have to change out the like dirty water tank halfway through like the first floor. Um, sometimes I have to refill the clean water tank. I'm just gonna be doing a quick one, so I'm gonna be running it over the floors pretty quickly, uh, whereas other times I'll do a more thorough job and then that's when it seems like I have to kind of like empty and refill more often, which only makes sense. Okay, floors are clean. I feel a lot better about that. We did a huge wipe down of the house um, last night, but I wanted to do the floors as well just to feel like everything was really clean. So anyway, um, I'm about to head out and go get my nails done. I last time got this like mauve color with a blue chrome over the top. I don't remember the colors because I feel like each place has their own like, color codes. Is that true or do they all like does each 
color have the same number at different salons because then I would try to remember my number better. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna go with like a nice French tip this time around. But I just opened up a package of body spray and perfumes. This is by the brand Ellis Brooklyn. So they sent over their sand fragrance body mist. So I wanted to maybe pop one of these on before I head out, depending on how they smell. So these are supposed to be like clean, sustainable perfumes. So mm. I feel like sand is a really great name for this one because it's like a beachy smell. Like it, it, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, I really like that one. Also sent over this perfume. This is the Super Amber. Ooh, it's in this pretty glass bottle. Hmm. Hmm. I like this one. I did not like it at first. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, whew, I'm getting dizzy. This one is definitely not a sweet scent. I'm not good at describing scents, so I don't really want to try to attempt. Peppery musky. I feel like I'd have to be in the mood for this one, whereas this one I'd feel more confident just like popping it on. And they also sent over this one in the scent Myth, which I really like this like matte black packaging with the gold. Pretty bottle. This one's like a nice florally scent. Definitely smells more expensive. Like I would totally believe someone if they told me this was a designer scent. Great floral. Yeah, I like that. I like that one a lot actually. And that one's Myth. So which one am I in the mood for today? I think I'm in the mood for Myth. I'm feeling a little more fancy. Ooh, I feel like I feel like I just need one little spray. I think that's all I need. It's a strong one in a good way, but uh, definitely one I feel like you could overdo it. But I feel like you'd get a lot of wear out of that bottle. So let's go, let's, let's get the rest of our outfit on, a jacket, some shoes, and go get these nails done. I threw on my Quince jacket. This is hard to see. Let me bring you over here. Is that any better? Not really. But I shared this in my last Quince haul. It's like kind of a shiny black little puffer bomber jacket. I love this jacket so much. It looks really cute with this sweater. This sweater is from Target. It's sold out. Every time I wear it, I get so many questions and I feel awful because it's been sold out in every single color for a while now. And then I have my Spanx leggings on and my Panda sneakers. So I thought that was just like a cute little look. Then I have my bright red Target bag just for a little pop of color. And off we go. I actually had no idea that my nail place was closed on Mondays. <laughs> I also just don't know what day it is. So uh, it actually works out. I have a return to do and I wanted to like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the worst. A toxic trait of mine is that I'm just never completely happy with our home decor and everything. And I've voiced this to you guys many times before. It's a toxic trait, but I think it's just spending so much time at home, having it be part of my job, constantly wanting to kind of like refresh things for the seasons and for the trends. Not that I feel pressure to do so. I just genuinely get sick of what we have because I stare at it all the time. I'm getting more of like a grasp on what I want the vibe to be in our living room. So that's a space that I've been kind of wanting to refresh. I just ordered a bunch of stuff for my office. I also just feel like moving into the house and just trying to get furniture and everything that we needed to like function in our house was just a lot of pressure and I didn't have, or I didn't give myself the time that I really needed to like make sure everything that I was getting was going to like last the taste of time does that even make sense i don't know i love the green chairs that are in our living room and i love our laloi rug but i feel like they're very seasonal feeling they feel fall winter to me they don't feel spring summer so i think what i'm going to do is roll up the rug put the chairs in the basement get new chairs a new rug in the living room something just a little bit right brighter a little bit lighter a little bit more neutral 
for spring and summer. And then I can justify putting the chairs and the green rug downstairs and bring them out for fall and I think it's beautiful around Christmas time so that's what I'm going to do there but I've been wanting some new like tabletop decor which I know that I had bought um from Target I had bought some stuff but I used it all up and um only a couple pieces went in the living room so I kind of want again some more neutral pieces so I'm thinking maybe I'll run over to Hobby Lobby all right guys we just put the kids to bed and I am gonna go to bed as well. I'm exhausted. Kyle's super tired. He was up really early this morning. We're going to finish up the laundry and lay in bed. He's gonna sleep with me tonight. I was like, I would not blame you if you wanna sleep in the guest room for another night. But he's like, no, it just feels wrong. I can't sleep up there again. I'm like, well, I did wash all the sheets. All of our bedding is clean. So hopefully he's in the clear, but I want to show you guys quickly what I got at Hobby Lobby. It's not much at all. I just got a bunch of florals because I wanted to switch out what we have in the house um, just so it's a little bit more springy. So these are <laughs> all the ones I got, but I think I only got like four different kinds. So I got a few of these stems, which I just thought were really pretty, classic, timeless, good for spring. And I can picture these in a, like a black kind of rustic, old antique looking pot. Um, I then got some of these little like baby breath stems. I also got some of these that are like more of a dull green with like a blush cream flower because I wasn't sure exactly like I really like the fresh vibe of these ones but I don't know if they're just going to be like too bright see for what we have in our house. But I can't remember. I wish I could remember who I saw posted these and they looked so stinking cute in a pot and she like bended it bended them she bent them so they were like hanging like over the sides and it was really nice and full and pretty so I wanted to pick some of, some of those up that was all I bought but I got like four stems of each of those yes I am going to end the vlog here because it's almost 8 30 and I want to go get ready for bed and just like get a good night's sleep so thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in the next video bye guys